Those nights that I stayed up late. I ask myself, why'd you walk away? I ask myself, why'd you bring the pain? And all my life, I always felt ashamed. I hope you listen as I talk about it. I hope you listen while I talk about it. I hope you listen as I talk about it. My heart feels incomplete Cause you took a piece of me me. Spent most of my life life Trying to find that peace peace. Hurt so many people People. Trying to feel complete Complete. Lost a lot of friends Friends. They didn't have what I need I I thought that it was me me. Now I realize it's you you. See I'm such a fool fool. Blocking out the truth The The hold us in my heart heart. Is there because of you you. Been carrying this pain for years Years. Try to show them how it feels Uh But it doesn't take my pain Just fills me with guilt Search for approval from people who don't know me. Know me. The person who knew me know just me. walked out on me. Uh-huh. The strangers who don't know me yeah. can tell me what's me. Yeah. You fuck my view of love, fuck. cause I hurt people I love. I if them. they could feel my pain, yeah. some relief from my brain. my brain. But I still felt the same. same. I was filled with all the shame. shame. I might have had a father, but I never had a dad. A local rapper by the name of Phoenix has produced a rap song dedicated to the day. And Phoenix joined us now. Good evening. Today. Thank you for having me. Now, how important do you think positivity is, particularly during lockdown? And it can make people really smile if you give them a compliment. How important do you think it is at times like this? I think it's very important because we're all filled with so much negative news and every day is a struggle. So positivity is needed to get people going. So if you give someone a compliment today, it doesn't need to be big or amazing. It's just something to put a smile on your face to look forward to the, to the whole day. Yes, they do. I think that will definitely be the thing. I've got some friends where they go, oh, no, this old thing, like you say, like an outfit. But I do think secretly it does make people smile. Now, how long have you been writing and, and making music for? I've been writing music for about six years, but I've been making it for f- four years now. It's been an amazing process so far. The growth has been amazing and it's shown me so much about myself and what I've learned. It was honestly, when I was thinking of the song, I said, what compliments day, I was like, I'm always someone who shows affection to people I care about, but lately, because of COVID and where I'm at, I've been away from family, my mother and my sisters, who are very important to me. So thinking of this song was a way to show them all those compliments I haven't told you in a while. I'm saying to you now, it's just to my mom, my sisters, to all the women out there who done something special for me. This is my thank you to them. If I don't say it enough, I appreciate you. Amazing. Thank you so much for writing this for us. We're going to play this now for you. So this is through BBC Upload. This is by Phoenix and it's called Compliments. and I'm from Derby. Yes, I'd say that um, I'm an alternative R&B singer obsessed with soul and R&B and everything that just suits the soul. I really enjoy his music and I feel like the the subjects that he talks about everybody can relate to. So yeah, it was really fun to work with him. Again, I just feel like it's relatable. Everybody can relate to a heartbreak and I think everybody's got something to say for it and <clears throat> I think you can, it's one of those songs you can get in your feelings too. So I really enjoyed the project that we did. I lost myself and I lost my way. Don't believe me, you're rising your ways. You drained all the good in me. That's the whole bitch in this place. You alright? You alright? Yes. All good? That is good. <laughs> 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 you love that, isn't it? Oh, it's all good. I don't love it. I don't love it. You love it. It's your favourite thing. 
what being filmed is really hard. Really, really morning to think, fuck's sake, man, why unless were we not filmed when I was asleep last night? Unless, I get, unless I've got a filter, I don't love it. They're a beautiful that filter. Oh, you need this. My name is Beto Old. I'm the engineer and the producer for Phoenix's new album and I run the High Flash Studio. I've known Phoenix for like three years. I've been working with him for like two and a half, in it like three years. Obviously I've been trying to help man in the background in it get on events and stuff like bunk three years ago. And uh going on radio and RV and stuff. I'm just trying to help. Trying to help. It's, it's different positive and it's uh, something that isn't really explored very often anymore at the minute so it's sick but it's dead inspiring in a way and the guy talks to so this one compared to his old project this project's more in his feelings so it's more like relatable to you than the one before but the one before still like got a certain vibe to it, it? Um, i've recorded 15 songs on the album and um, i've recorded some of his previous album as well and, Oh, the song Freak Show. Oh, yeah. A oh, banger still. It's a banger still. Um, I think the meaning is very important, isn't it? Like, obviously, a lot of us get segregated out in the world, and we get called out for certain different reasons, and for whatever someone chooses to be an idiot about. Do you know what I mean? So it's very relatable, isn't it? And uh, just let me come out of my feelings about it. Do you know what I'm saying? Call me a freak show. Call me a freak show. Yeah, I'm a freak show. Just yeah. some different. Hey yo, they call me the freak show And it be jokes at the peep show How you segregate me though To be free, I wish I'd ski low Sad to see how society touches kids like pedos I'm just trying to make pedo Fuck rising up the ego Really, we're all people There's a divide, so we ain't equal we're blind to what we see, bro When are we fine and dandy not be no Definitely a few more sleeps, bro See, people fear where we go People will give it ear for what we know The circus is a time due to perch like an ego Live by the pier like a seagull Wanna run Red light and I didn't see go. A live to a state like T Bone is Beatles. Hi, I'm Rich. I'm the engineer producer at Snug Recording. And um, yeah, we've been working together for a few years now. Yeah, we've uh, we've covered a lot of genres over the last couple of years. He's got a very kind of broad spectrum in taste. So that always keeps it interesting. You never know what we're gonna be doing from one session to the other. We've gone from like quite aggressive rap through to this dreamy eighties kind of synth wave stuff and all kinds of things in between. So yeah, it's good. I enjoy it. Um, over the over the couple of years, I think it would be fair to say like he's obviously the styles have changed, um, but I think he's uh, his, his lyrics have definitely improved. Um, much deeper kind of introspective kind of content. The song like Lucid Dreams kind of vibe. Where it's like melodies, but still has that bass, just kick you in there where you get the words and shit. You know that's gonna work. I broke your heart, I tore us apart. And I'm losing you right now, you just fading away from me. Yeah, I'm losing you right now, you feel like a distant memory. Exactly, it's just, it's hard for people to accept that. The thing with people is, people mm. you know what they like till you show them. That's it, that's it. <laughs> that, and it's it's funny because it's like it happens. Do you know, it actually happens with me and Brad too? Sometimes when I show Brad a song I'm about to do, he, he I, I I I rehearse it. He hears it. I can see on his face already. He's not feeling the song. I'm like, yes. I go record it. I show it to him, and boys boys looking like I'm like that's actually fucking sick. Like, yeah, bro. That's the problem because they're not in your head. They can't see yeah, what you see. Yeah. Like I can remember with Legend, he never liked it from the start. After I recorded it and I played it for him, he was like, this is one of my best songs from you now. And I'm just looking at him like, I can remember when you said you were <laughs> like, yourself now. So every time when he has that same reaction, I like how he's so shook at how good it turned out. Because I'm like, that's what I want from people. Legend. Yeah. A legend. Okay. Whoa. Now I know that it's hard to make the world see its part. Many 
problems are causing my life Cause I kept it in my life, now I shine